Welcome to today's vlog. Give me a oh, crap. Give me a second. Oh. Put on my shoe. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd, if I am correct. I am going, we are, October 3rd. We are heading out to go get a workout in. I actually trained this morning. I trained, ooh, it almost fell. I trained um, some legs and I did cardio this morning and it was a good workout. But I'm gonna go do a class that I normally do on Tuesdays. It's like a plyo class, so I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna go record a booty thing for you guys. I'm gonna be giving you guys tips. I'm gonna be recording the video first. My plan is to record the video and then give you guys tips on what has helped me grow the booty. So sit back and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I want to go to the gym you guys I want to show you guys what my bag gym bag essentials are Chris and I share a bag so um, we usually just carry th everything in here but there are certain things that I personally like to carry um, I have my makeup bag in there I never carry it but um, since I'm gonna be doing the glue video I kind of want to retouch my makeup in case I look completely drenched after this workout but um, I usually have my belt he has his belt we have all ghost products which includes the aminos the pre-workout, Ghost Legend, and size. Where's size? This is a black cherry one. It's my absolute favorite, so I usually drink that one. And the size is in here somewhere. Just a bunch of crap in here. But that's what we usually carry in our gym bag. He has knee sleeves for when he does legs. And what else? The camera's in there as well. I always carry my strap to do kickbacks with. On the machines I always carry that for leg day especially I carry bands but to be honest my bands just broke so I don't know where the other ones are but I'm gonna have to find them bands my neck my leg sleeves and what else I feel like there was something else hand sanitizer but that's just because I get grossed out at the gym and that's about it you guys I just carry my essentials especially just for like oh this is Chris's he has asthma um, but most of the time it's just my booty day essentials are the the ankle strap for the cable and Two things ankle strap for the cable and uh, a band So those are the things that I always have to carry with me when I am working out Okay guys, so I just got done with that pile circuit, but like I promise I'm going to show you guys glute workouts So my plan that I'm going to be giving you guys full free so wait for my Instagram post it's gonna be more detailed. It's gonna be more detailed and more days of food workouts. It's just kind of like a sample of what I'm giving you guys. The exercises that I feel help target help me target my glutes better. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is hip thrusts. Okay, so how I get positioned, I put my shoulder blades against the bench, and then I make sure that my feet are close enough to when I'm at my highest point, I'm perpendicular. So here, shoulder blades. Keep that chin tucked. Legs in as close as you can. Make sure all the pressure from your heels. Coming back in, coming up, squeezing, stretching, squeezing, stretching. If you have lighter weight, as always, you want to do about 12 to 15 reps. If the heavier you go, 8 to 10 is always best. If I'm going heavier, I do 5 to 8 sets. If I'm going lighter like this, I'm going to do about 4 sets, 12 to 15. Hey guys, so I just finished up with hip thrust. When you're working out, you want to make sure that you start off with a compound movement followed by an ISO movement. A compound movement is when you're using more than one joint. So for the hip thrust, we were using the hips and the knees. Whereas in ISO, you're just moving one joint. So for example, for the next movement, single leg deadlifts, we're only going to be bending at the hip. So for this exercise, you're going to put one leg in front of the other. There's multiple ways you can do these. You can grab dumbbells and go down, come up while the other one goes up. But honestly, I try, just tried this movement and it works to do so well. So as always, you're going to put all the tension on your heel. You're going to grab the weights here. You're going to come down slow and come back up. Make sure all the pressure from your heel to you literally feel it all in your glute. So for this next exercise, 
pump out exercise. These are called frog pumps. 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 Frog pumps. Okay. Should we just start all over? No, that's funny. Just keep okay. it. Frog pumps. So with these, you're going to put your legs together. You're going to come down. These, this extra particular exercise is not really about the weight. It's about the movement. Just pumping them up as fast as you can. But you're making sure you're still going as low as you can and squeezing at the top. So you're going to put your legs together here. For that exercise, I just like to keep it high reps. I don't use a lot of heavy weight with that exercise because I really just want to get the blood flow in my glutes, you know? Okay, so the next ISO movement are... Or <laughs> the next ISO movement is hyperextensions. So to be honest, I used to lack doing hyperextensions. I didn't like doing them, but they work, guys. They work really good. With hyperextensions, though, you have to be really careful if you want to target the glutes instead of the lower back. So when you're doing them, I recommend you using uh, weight with them because you want to stick to about 10 to 12 weight. 10, 10 to 12 reps heavy weight. You want to make sure that your back is rounded and your knee and your knee and your chin is tucked in. So here we go. Just like with this other workouts, you want to make sure that you're applying pressure on your heels and that you're going all the way down, stretching, and coming all the way up and squeezing. So this next exercise are crab walks. Crab walks are amazing for feeling that burn in your glutes. Typically, I would do these with a band around my ankle or my thighs, but one of my clients is broken, I'm not going to call her out, but it's fine. I'm going to get new ones this week, so I'm sorry, but highly recommend you guys using bands around your thighs. So you're just going to squat, to make sure you hold the squats. Tummy's tucked and tight, chest is up. You're going to go side, 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 side. Oh. There's different ways you can do them. You can do them like that. Then at the end, pump it up by squatting. And you want to make sure that your stomach's tight, your chest up, and you're keeping the squat the entire time. And as a finisher, I'm going to finish off with kickbacks. So there's different ways you guys can do kickbacks. You can actually do stationary where you're just kicking back. But I like to do them like this, like this, keeping the core tight. Personally, I like to do them with my band, I tell my band on the machine, the pulley machine, whatever that's called. I don't know, but the band, the ankle band, and kick back. Um, with them, I typically do about 12 to 15 reps because if you start going heavy, sometimes you can put a lot of tension on your lower back, and that's just from lack of you squeezing your abs in tight. But personally, I like to stick to about 12 to 15 reps at a good weight still, but just where I'm keeping the tension off my lower back. So you can do them stationary, you can do them with the kickback pulley machine, you can do them with bands around your ankles, and you can even do them on a bench if you want to kind of work in your core. Here, core and tight, up, down, up, down, up. You want to make sure you're squeezing, yeah, you're not just going through the motion, you guys, squeezing at a tight, slow. Keeping that tight and tight. When I do exercises like that, when it incorporates my core and with no weight, I like to kind of go timed. It's a good, very good plyo exercise. So that's going to include the glute workout, you guys. I'm going to go more into detail about growing your glutes, toning your glutes. Just a bit. Let me just catch my breath. 
Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that glute workout. But there's still a couple things that I want to go over and I know many of you girls have questions about. So let's talk about growing the glutes, okay? When you want to grow any kind of muscle, your body is going to have to be in what is called a surplus. Meaning, you are going to be intaking more calories than you burn. So you have to consume more protein, more carbs, and a little bit more fat depending on your body type and your diet, right? So when you're in a surplus and you're training, I would recommend you doing about six to eight sets of your exercises, six to eight yeah, sets of your exercises and about 10, typically it's eight to 10 reps, but I don't ever do eight reps. I always like to go to 10 reps just because I feel like in my head, eight is not enough. So 10 reps is a good point, you guys, all right? So that with, with that being said, you're not gonna be able to grow your glutes unless you're in a surplus and you're consuming. Okay, surplus means you're still eating the amount of protein that your body needs. Not eating a bunch of bread, a bunch of candy, a bunch of sweets, and you're just consuming carbs and fats. That's not gonna help you retain the muscle that you need. It's just gonna cause you to get more fat in that area. So you have to pay attention to that and make sure you're eating enough protein. All right, let's say you're not in a surplus, right? And you're just kind of eating what you want, not really know what you're calculating. You can still tone your muscle. Um, you can still do exercises like I showed you and stick to about four to five sets of 12 to 15 reps, you guys. That way you're kind of burning the fat in that area, but you're still toning that muscle. But you still kind of want to have an idea of the amount of protein you're consuming. Make sure you're eating enough chicken, you're having your, maybe your protein shake after your workout, stuff like that to make sure that you're consuming, you're getting the protein source that your body needs. So, and that's how you grow your glutes and that's how you tone your glutes, okay? Another thing that's highly important for your glutes is training them, okay? You have to have a day set apart from your leg day to train glutes, okay? When you're doing, when you're working out your legs, yeah, there's certain exercises like deadlifts and a lot of things for hamstring, for example, works out your glutes, yes, but not enough. And you're not targeting just the glute. So you wanna make sure you take days apart from your leg day to hit your glutes. Like the exercises that I showed you, those target your glutes, all right? So you wanna make sure you're hitting them about I would recommend three days out of the week. I know that is a lot, but honestly, ladies, from personal experience, unless you're gonna compete and you want a specific body part like your back to find, you really don't need your back to find, right? Um, shoulders are a thing girls really want. You know, you really wanna work on your arms. Yeah, but get a couple exercises of arms in and then hit some glutes, right? And then the next day you'll do some legs. Then the next day you'll do some shoulders hit a little bit of glutes. So kind of break it down in that way. That's what I tend to do. And honestly, that's when I've noticed the most difference in my glutes. When I start working them out three days a week, when I completely stop working my glutes, you guys, uh, you, you notice within two weeks, you notice that your glutes aren't as plump as they used to be. So I highly recommend that you hit them about three times a week at least. So now let's talk about cardio exercises that will help the glutes. So cardio exercises that will help the glutes, like for example, machines for cardio, I would stay away from running as much and do more of a Stairmaster. Or if you're doing the elliptical, you can do it backwards because honestly, you'll feel that burn in your glutes if you're putting the pressure, if you're applying the pressure on your heels. So, but the number one cardio machine that I would recommend that targets your legs and your glutes is the Stairmaster. Unless you're trying to bring down your legs, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are trying to work your glutes and your legs, Stairmaster is the best way to go. Another thing, if you're trying to lean out, lose some weight, but still target your glutes, I would recommend plyo exercises, jump squats, kickbacks, like I said for a minute. Every, timed exercises are the best thing to do. So jump squats, uh, jump pull, uh, squat pulses, kickbacks, crab walks, everything for a minute timed is the best way that you're gonna burn calories but target your glutes at the same time. So those are a little bit of things that I just wanted to clear up with you guys when it comes to glute training because I know that I get a lot of questions on, oh, how'd you grow your glutes? Be patient, you guys. It doesn't take, it doesn't come overnight. It doesn't take one day to another. It doesn't take a month or two months. It takes time, you guys. It's taken me years to get the glutes that I have now. And that's honestly from, um, 
proper training didn't come until like this this year with my glutes i used to not work out my glutes i used to work out with my boyfriend at the time which is now my husband and he wouldn't hit glutes so i wouldn't hit him and i would think oh leg day is fine for glutes but in reality for us women it's not so make sure you're hitting glutes an appropriate an appropriate time <laughs> make sure you're hitting glutes enough times a week you guys so that you can get the best results so that is all you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the workout i hope i didn't bore you a lot with my talk i just wanted to get that information out there for you guys and as always if you guys have questions shoot me a dm shoot me an email comment below and i will be more than happy to help okay guys so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoy the workout i love you guys and i'll see you guys on my next vlog bye when you're talking about rep range when you are gonna be in a surplus. I mean, Hello everybody, it's me, Chris, for the special. You're so dumb.